Mortensen neuroma can feel like you're walking on marbles. But I have six incredible home remedies for you today that give immediate neuroma relief without surgery, medications, or doctor visits, as well as six medical treatments to relieve your neuroma pain for good. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Kim. I'm a holistic podiatrist. I'm so excited to share with you all six of my favorite home remedies for neuroma that will relieve that uncomfortable inflammation, cramping, or tingling feelings for good. Let's get right into the video. So first we're going to go through six holistic home remedies and then I'll follow with uh, medical treatments that I do in my office that are very effective as well. The first thing we do is rice. This is not the rice that you eat, but this is short for rest, ice, compression, and elevation. And anytime you get injured, something happens to you, you want to make sure that you rest, ice, compression, and elevation. That's the very important thing you have to do to decrease inflammation, decrease pain, and improve the circulation, and make it much better right away. Next one is soaking. There are a lot of great things you can use to soak your foot to get the inflammation out, get the better circulation into the area. We're gonna talk more about that. Massaging, who doesn't like massaging? Massaging is amazing. Get the flow going. As long as you're not hurting the person, you would do that. And reflexology is a Chinese methodology of using wooden tools and different things to really stimulate circulation around your foot. Next one is taking the pressure off the area, which is very important. Wearing different kinds of shoes, braces and different things to really take the pressure off the area is very important because anytime you have to put the pressure on there, that's where the pain is. And the over-the-counter, we call OTC, it's called over-the-counter. You can buy them at a store to uh, really support the arch, take the pressure off the ball of the foot. So there's over-the-counter orthotic devices that are available out there. Also anti-inflammatory herbs. There are a lot of great herbs. You can make a tea out of it, or you can take the herbs to decrease inflammation and help healing the area really quickly. So let's get a little bit more in the detail of those six home remedies. First one is rice. We talked about resting, icing, compressing, and elevating. So rest, obviously. If you get hurt, if your neuroma is really hurting, you, you have a lot of pain on the bottom of the foot, you have to rest. You may have to take some time off from work. You may have to take some time off from all your sports activities, all the other things you're doing, cooking, cleaning, you know, a lot of things you do around the house. You may have to take it easy a little bit. And resting is really important because it's really hard to rest sometimes when you got a lot of stuff around the house, but this is time to rest so that you can calm down the inflammation. And icing, really important, right here. <laughs> you can, I don't recommend you directly do it. You can put a towel around it or indirectly put the icing in this area only when about 24 to 48 hours after this is inflamed or injury, right? So you don't wanna do it like seven days later. It may not be a good idea because there's, it really prevents you from circulation to the area. So icing would be very important. Compressing, you use ace bandage, other things to compress the area so it minimizes swelling uh, from coming. And then elevating, sit back on your couch, have your foot up and then really taking it easy to overall have some ice pack on it, put some ice bandage on it and really taking it easy is a really important thing because the area is really inflamed and this is very painful. Anytime uh, there's something wrong with your nerve, you have to be really taking it easy, getting the swelling out, improving your circulation to the area is very, very important. Next one is soaks. There's a lot of great things you can use to soak. My favorite go-to is Epsom salt. If you want more information about it, I just made, uh, made a video on this, so you can uh, go to my uh, YouTube channel and watch all the great things that Epsom salt does, what kind of temperature you use for the water, how long you use it, a lot of details on how to soak it on Epsom salt. You can put some apple cider vinegar, another great agent to decrease inflammation, soothe the area. It works for just about everything. Apple cider vinegar, amazing thing you can use. You can put them in the Epsom salt, use it together, really, really good soaks. And then you can put a touch of uh, oil, which is another very strong anti-inflammatory, like peppermint, ginger, turmeric oil, a very, very strong anti-inflammatory oil. Then you can put a, just a few drops into the soaks along with Epsom salt and apple cider vinegar. That's gonna be so soothing, relaxing, a little bit warm, feeling really, really good. It'll be an amazing thing for you to do to calm down inflammation and pain. Third one is massage. Do I need to say anymore? Massaging really helps, gently though. You don't want to hurt the person, but have somebody who actually loves you. That energy is transferred into all that massaging and, and lubricating the area. Use some lotion or oil to really get that going and decrease inflammation, increase energy flow is very, very important to calm down inflammation and, and pain. And we talk a little bit about reflexology. There's a lot of reflexology places around. Uh, they're very nominal price. You can go there and they use different tools 
to really get all the circulation and stimulate the whole body actually by just doing the bottom of the feet and then that can really help you minimize swelling and inflammation. Next one is taking the pressure off. It's very, very important because there's a lot of pressure goes on every day, you're on your feet. You want to wear flatter shoes and then you want to have a wider toe box to relieve pressure in this area. And then your activities, you have to quit your soccer game or your tennis game or your even golf game. If you're going to be standing a lot, I highly recommend you take it easy at least a few days, maybe a few weeks to really get it better uh, before you can get back on and do those activities, especially the high impact ones. You know what they are, the, the tennis and the, the basketball and a lot of really fun stuff at a really high impact. They really need to take it easy so that you can take the pressure and the load off the area. Next one is you need to lose some weight, obviously. I highly recommend intermittent fasting to really make sure that you're getting rid of all the toxins. You are really reducing the amount of in consumption and the time so that you can really have less calorie, not only that, healthier food uh, going into your body uh, so that you can really help decrease the weight gain. And that really makes a big difference because every time you put weight on this, your foot, you're putting tremendous amount of pressure on the ball of the foot. And then the over-the-counter orthotics, and there are a lot of brands out there. Uh, I don't really recommend any of them because they're, they're really too soft. They're really cushiony, which is really good in the beginning. So you feel really good that it's really cushioning you, but it's really not doing anything other than that. Cushioning is necessary at times, but what you are not doing is you need more support around the arch area, which prevents the arch from flattening down, which is going to help the ball of the foot area to be sustaining this, we call them transverse arch. So it's really important to have a really firm arch area, not too hard because being hard is a little tender as well, but you want to be firm and supportive. The biggest problem area is the heel area where this device needs to really hug your heel so that it prevents from too much motion of the whole foot, which is very, very important. That And that's why you need custom devices. If you're continuously having this problem, then you need to go see a foot doctor who's gonna give you a custom devices. It's a little, it costs a lot more, but it's definitely worth it because now you can really take the pressure off very effectively. It can really help to heal this area a lot better. Try some over-the-counter ones. If they're not really working very well for you, then you may have to uh, visit your foot doctor to get a custom one. And now the anti-inflammatory herbs, there's, there's a list goes on and on. There's ginger, turmeric, peppermint, thyme, rosemary, and lavender. These are amazing anti-inflammatory herbs. You can boil it and, and drink as tea. That also relaxes you because that's what you need because you're all uptight about having a lot of pain. Also, you can take it like a pills form. You can buy them at the health food store. Really a strong anti-inflammatory uh, so that it can really help you calm down the inflammation of the nerves so that you can really improve your agony that you're suffering because this could be very, very painful. Many think that they have to live with neuroma forever or that surgery is the only solution to the problem. But these home remedies I've shared have proven to provide great results. They just require a little bit of commitment. For more educational foot videos like this one, check out my next video. Until then, get educated, be empowered, encourage others today.